This is a quick ownership um, review for anyone who is looking for a Jeep Wrangler or if you want to buy a Jeep a four door version as such. After the quick walkthrough, I'll be sharing some detailed tips around buying this vehicle in Canada and specifically Ontario. Some quick tips of buying and maintaining which I have learned over the last close to two years now and and uh, some ways to get discounts from dealers if that helps you. This is Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport S version that costed me about 51 grand, let's say 51,000 Canadian dollars on road, which is basically including some upgrades, some, but the wheels upgraded of course, and so you can have a look of the tire. These are Goodyear, um, I guess twint, it's called Goodyear All-Terrain Adventure tires. They've got like, uh, there's something called as Kevlar, uh, like I, if you can see, yeah, it's called Kevlar reinforced layer, which is kind of good performance. Uh, and I've tried tested this uh, under standard um, stock, under standard, you know, off-road conditions. The tire size is 245 by 75 or 17 inches, as you can see. I still maintain the stock antenna here. I'll be changing this quite very soon and sort of a tricor theft it's just a symbol it doesn't really work much but i know that it helps in preventing some sort of theft from your vehicle they have i think it's 32 or 33 inches standard stock rims and standard tires um, the standard gas you know cap for sure uh, i recommend getting a lock in there if you can uh, you get a version which like about 97 bucks in Canada. I just checked that out. I'll be getting that soon maybe. But that's quite, um, you know, you can prevent theft or maybe I heard from some neighbors that somebody had parked a Jeep and the neighbors did not like them. Probably they just opened and put something inside. So it's not that uh, safe to, to have this cap like this open. So we'll start black, black in color and I have not upgraded or done any mods as such. It's, uh, it's just standard um, stock bumpers which you get when you buy with standard tow hooks nice mesh and grill um, the indicators are stock as well um, these are standard rain gutters you can use great mounts they are pretty strong and well made you do get a lock if you have to use the keys and I will show you the keys how they look like though before I forget that thing so it's like this and you have the and I have opted for a double starter like cold cold starter or a winter package when I opted for it. So you press two times and the vehicle will start. And it, and it is easily, I have tried up to easily distance of, I don't know, 20, 30 meters. It, it works fine yeah, from a parking lot. I have been in buildings where it still works fine during winters. Of course, unlock and lock, uh, pretty standard there. You do have the keys, you press the button, the keys come out and you can use um, the manual way as well. But it's quite a nice um, Jeep feel there. And I was talking about some logos there, so they do give a little touch to the branding. You have a like a Jeep logo here. And let me quickly go through the hood area, which is under the hood, just to look and feel of what it looks like. It's a little tricky to open. I mean, you have to, of course, unlock. There is no lock in here. You have to just unlock this first and take out the um, take out this hinge as the second thing. And likewise, you do it from the other side. You kind of pull this up lever up and then take out the hinge and there's a nice little lock here you can open and it over there so this yellow thing you it, it stays there and you take it out and it gets stuck here there's a little hole you can just push in there and your hood is all set so you can see it's a nice and very clean 3.6 v um, petrol engine and then they have given two batteries though which is a new upgrade after the 2018 launch um, over here where you can one is for ESS or electronic starter start stop system I guess because you and I'll show you in interiors of the vehicle how it looks like but yeah I mean it's a I'm not a, really a mechanical engineer but I can tell you the basics that it is a very nice and fine piece of art this is the most beautiful a, a car or vehicle can get and it is like a legacy from you know 1940s now which so by the way that reminds me of a very nice uh, very nice memory where I was buying this vehicle for the first time in Brampton, Ontario and the, the sales guy over there says, you know, uh, when you buy this vehicle, when you're driving on the road, people will wave hands at you and you have to wave hands back at them. Uh, it's sort of a Jeep prestige symbol or just waving hands is like you're respecting the Jeep legacy as such. 
uh, I was like literally laughing for the first time. I thought he's joking or so and I kind of, um, you know, I just let it pass. But when I started driving the Jeep in Ontario, then I realized, you know, people were really waving hands and it is like sort of a way to respect the Jeep. So you can do like this way, this way, this way, whichever makes sense to you. But but it's, a, it's sort of respect for the legacy since 1940s. This is like a style icon you are driving. It is not, it is like quite a pricey machine. But this is a style icon you are driving and uh, you know I always recommend respecting the Jeep legacy. Quickly closing the hood and we'll, we'll go inside uh, the Jeep and see the interiors. So as you get into the vehicle it's quite spacious and like comfortable right I like height and I don't like lower vehicles which are closer to the ground I like high ground clearance as such so you get very good ground clearance with this vehicle and um, this is of course I'll show you the interior view first, how it looks like. I've got kids over there, so it's get you enough of space to um, get them seated well. And there's a good amount of boot space as well. I've got, of course, the, uh, as you can see, the hard top edition. We are in Canada and it's extremely cold here sometimes, so we can't really... Um, there, there are people who keep the sunroofs or um, not hard top or soft tops as such, but... Uh, for us, it's much better when it is a hard top with the family around. It's really quick. It's the nice power steering. I have I had the uh, Dodge um, Dodge vehicle earlier, where uh, it's pretty standard in across all the Chrysler vehicles. The, the you have the music controls over here. If you can see that, but yeah, it's it's really here. You can go so without really uh, leaving your half. You can actually um, change your music from the other side and volume up and down from here. It's very user friendly. Um, these the buttons look premium and the interiors look premier as well. The little nice steely kind of finish. Um, those left and right buttons are for your um, heated mirrors if you have like this. It goes left or right just to adjust them according to your needs and up and down accordingly. Um, so it's kind kind of quite um, helpful during especially during cold winters when you can move from inside. You don't have to think see things outside and move your hand as such. The, the usual AC vents, um, the indicators, this is, um, I think it comes standard, the, all the um, the headphone or hands-free version, you have the call connector, call disconnect, and you can click on this and you can speak, and then the, the system will hear. It, it requires Android Auto, I guess. And I've maintained the, um, I've taken the basic one, this is more uh, than the really, the I guess it's 7 inches or 8 inches plus 1 which is like really full screen you can anyway uh, replace whenever you like but I, I prefer this basic version and I'll start the vehicle and show you um, why I say so let me grab my belt and kind of just a quick demo so just a feel of how it starts um, those are my kilometers and I've got them actually serviced for 3 or 4 times now predominantly uh, predominantly the um, uh, engine oil change oil filter change and so on and so forth the next one as you can see is due on April 1st next month around 34,000 kilometers now I'm running 30,000 kilometers within a year and a half including being at home a lot of time because of COVID so which is sort of high I drive a lot of highways and it, these vehicles make a little of little bit of noise because of the um, the hard top but it is still fine it and it's okay to have a family with this uh, you can go around so the lights are operated like this you you have the zero automatic version in Canada which is like sort of the basic lights are on the lower beam high beam and automatic mode of course and then I have got this little convenience keys when I purchase so I have configured this on my um, garage door and you can do the rest of them as well two and three so it is quite it, as the name indicated it's quite a um, convenient thing to have and I was talking about the, the dashboard so here's the look and feel you saw the steering the, the connections here the dashboard when you start how does it feel and then you put the AC push knob and this is the uh, ESS button where by default the, the new Jeep Wrangler is always into um, automatic switch off and on mode so it is auto starter mode uh, whenever you are at a red signal maybe if you if you have this like um, there's no button here and no yellow light that means it is working and fine and like once you push on the uh, once you your vehicle halts completely at a red red uh, light stop you know, the, the vehicle will turn off automatically and when you remove your um, then you start moving again like the green signal comes and you remove your uh, for example 
clutch pedal it will automatically start uh, so i always kind of switch it off i don't like much of it but this is like a very standard and uh, by default feature there's no way to change that uh, simple ac knob uh, all these you can if you have heated mirrors you can push and uh, you know back the rear side vents open up is quite standard um, i like the old style old school buttons you can go you know um, rotate them as you like for the channels the volume and so on and so forth and the same thing you can do from the buttons of your um, underneath behind the wheel wheel as well the steering wheel as well and then you have the media option here you can connect a usb and a charger there uh, the aux cable this came in and then windows are pretty nice these buttons are way cleaner than the previous version of course you can just press on the auto button and it will just move down for example um, like what it's like all power windows if you will and then again these are new i guess this was not there in jl version but you get really the, the door grab handles on all the sides like you get one over here the passenger side two three on the um, even for the people on the rear and and four over here so you get all the four options here um uh, i have of course the hard top so it's very easy you can you will just need to plug this lever uh this lever to uh three four and likewise four of them on the other side one two one two three and four this one so basically take it will take off this whole thing manually and they usually provide a standard bag for to you for in case you wish to um put the bag in your food space so that's little sort of a there are nice crab handles it's very strong made and uh, there's a little bit of space there for keeping your documents and stuff inside it's not less it's not more it's just optimum i would say and uh, the seats are uh, fabric made but nice finish they seem very premium and this is my favorite part where you have again the storage and sort of a rest hand armrest here you can once you open you have layer one where i prefer to keep my masks and everything with covid-19 going around so this you can still open with if you give one more uh, you know push this hand handle it will go up first and you have a large space to see i keep a lot of stuff inside all my mask back of mask gloves for my kids and everything else and some hardware as well there's a first aid kit i keep, prefer to keep always and i do recommend that so um a lot of space there and it's quite sturdy no noise nothing from this you can close one by one of course you have the uh, two this is a new covid-19 thing to have a hand sanitizer but i usually will have otherwise two you know things to drink or drink holders and coming to the four wheel functionality this is quite interesting one you can uh, of course this is a nice cheap logo and this is a very subtle logo which has come across uh, it is in the wheel uh, wheels as well uh, outside when i go and show you of course you have pr and nd is standard and you have manual mode as well on the left hand side as you can see the best part is this which is which only comes with four wheel four wheel drive vehicles so it's quite uh, an effort to push this across but you have two high or four four highs neutral and four lows so by default i guess it has to be in 2h to drive which is what so two wheel drive is what i understand from this and 4h is four high so when you go four wheel you know winters or if it is raining or if it is not sorry sorry not raining but if it is full on untreated um, snowy roads or snow road kind of thing i prefer the 4h version four low is from even more slower i guess um, to do that of course you also have the um, the hand gear uh, hand brake here you can it's a nice touch you know you can see this is a nice steel thing i guess and there's a nice grab handle here push it down when you drive and just push it up when you don't so so i'll be going to the back side quickly okay, i'll show you from the uh, all about the rear side so you you do get an option i've got like two kids so we we always prefer to lock the doors on both sides uh, it's a nice space you got for cabin lights over here it's nice little touch you can just switch on when you like and just push up a button it's very premium feeling i upgrade up, i upgrade um I did upgraded the uh, speakers as well so these are alpine i guess six or four of them in each one and over here on the on the uh, if you can see that but yeah the um, yeah two parts there and then i got one at the back which i just so on the back side of course you do get the um, same nice interiors as well uh, both the doors have an option to do the child lock by the way just so you know for all the parents out there 
uh, like me so you do have this little knob you kind of open and just the key on the clockwise or anti-clockwise you just use the ordinary screwdriver and it will help you lock the doors it cannot be opened from inside so for the kid safety it's very important to have that and you do have the drag grab door grab handles here um i guess this is four of them in each so you get or oh, three of them so three here three speakers there and i got the alpine ones upgraded which is a kind of subwoofer system which is the the best thing to have like i love music and driving without music is not interesting so you got the alpine speakers upgrade here um on the back hand side on the on the boot space let's say this side you have the the standard soft top of course the bars here and then you got a chance to you can also place a you know lock uh, child lock safety lock if you know if you wish but you can have at least three handles here one two and three so you can have three kids seated there with uh, respective um, you know seats and these are the buttons you just push and the seat just goes down in case you want to do so this is a one set let's say and this is a space in there so this goes down as a complete set and these two seats go down again when you pull the levers and push it back in the similar way and this uh, is the bag which came in and i just kept it new i use it very sparingly so um, if you take off if you take off your um, hard top from the driver's seat side you just put them here and you know you can lock your jeep again so nice uh, options here as well as you can see you have the 12 volt dc here you can plug in anything if you're going off-roading like you can have a freezer anything you like here with 12 volt um, battery there and then i'm looking for certain upgrades with those screws like a standard uh, storage rack for campings and other accessories as such you kind of get more space and a little more organized so anyway on the back side um, these are the standard ones um, these are standard you know flaps or whatever you call it this came with the jeep wrangler but i did upgrade it the uh, with the latest ones so i got the premium all door all weather mats from jeep as you can see these are these are the best to have like it's no rain nothing nothing affects them they are just quickly washable you can just wash them with ordinary water and soap so i was showing you this you have the option to i guess add ropes or cages if you want for separation i guess and then similarly you get a nice wood space you have a toolbox set here um, a little storage space where you can keep all your tools and gadgets you do get the option to have um, these are the screw holders actually so if you decide you know this is a quite a versatile jeep so you can really take off your whole hard top soft top whatever you have you can take off the whole hard top from here you can take off all the doors really and all the screws can be very safely retained here you know you we kind of uh, we have a, uh, people can easily misplace and these are by exact count in this store um, so it says you know roof here and um, roof hinges for example so you can have the screws put in there like for roof and over here you can see I don't know if you can see that but it says windshield so for the windshield you have this kind of um, one two three four screws here so it's quite um, thought through very well planned uh, engineering I would say and you can um, this comes pretty standard so I'll be upgrading it soon with a tailgate table so you can have the table and really upgrade as you wish it's quite uh, everything is iron i love iron and steel um, you do get a standard tow thing there but i haven't really added a hitch but you had to have an option of adding a hitch or anything uh, for adding a trailer if you wish and this is the little camera which shows you the rear view when you drive so and it can also be turned on i guess when you're when you're uh, driving off-road so it kind of you can see what's behind you it's very helpful uh, in, in parking situations and there's a little tail light uh, very standard so i was telling you about this uh, all weather floor mats you know this there's a little knob you get uh, like a little plug which kind of goes inside you can take it out uh, and it's all washable i guess you can just wash and the water goes inside it just rains out from there because and these are made by jeep itself it's quite a chrysler made and standard you can take this off wash and put it back and just insert this plug in there and just uh, close this with that the the it's all secured in place 
so i do recommend that that's the minor thing i've done i'm thinking a lot of upgrades but starting with the storage uh, some accessories and maybe new highlights uh, over here the a pillars so on and so forth but i'll make a quick video as i progress further i hope you got a basic sense of what it looks like what is a jeep wrangler unlimited sport as looks like it's a basic one you get of course the sahara version which is little upgraded to this you get better fenders i guess and the better bumpers over there and a little more um, family kind of a feel then you get rubicon of course with better sway bars and so on and so forth which can be a little more um, better made for off-road conditions but you know you can always upgrade this vehicle as well and um, and those are very pricey by the way so um, now i was talking about the tips to buy in ontario of course um, i recommend so there's a there's a nice guy called uh, Peel Chrysler. There's a dealership called Peel Chrysler in in Canada. So I would recommend if you're looking for discounts or um, like uh, you want to compare prices in Canada. What I did was I really kind of went on PeelChrysler.com website, saw the price of exact similar model with minor changes in accessories here and there, you know, and then I took it to another dealership in Brampton and I showed them you know that they are offering this and why you are offering more. So they kind of matched the price for me. And I got very good discounts. So I think I got around 10,000 plus in overall discounts from a listed price perspective. Um, but I ended up spending with some more shields and I guess they did some paint coverage or uh, some uh, five years sort of warranty there for underneath paint. Uh, they gave me uh, a deal for so this is 46,000 only for that, the vehicle and 5,000 plus extra for everything else I added. So which was like 51 grand Canadian dollars overall. Um, but Peel Chrysler always mentioned the rock bottom price on the website. So uh, they they really go rock bottom. They want people to look at their website and come back to them to buy. But as a user, it's, it, it helps a lot. You can understand what could be the rock bottom price and you can go and compare. So that's my little tip on buying any cheap Wrangler in Canada. And of course, if you are, um, if you don't have budget, if you are, let's say, not a parent like me or if you are, you don't have a big family you can always look for a two-door version which is also good um, it's it's good enough for off-road it's good enough for two uh, people even three or four that for that matter but the, the back space the rear space is a little crunched for sure and um, but it, it really kind of helps you um, do the off-road everything you would like to do there's nothing that uh, in terms of off-road that you can do in this and not in that uh, in terms of uh, so it's just a number of doors and a little bit of more space and this is more cheap uh, for a family that is more cheap for youngsters or unmarried ones or if you're single you don't have a large family like me and then take care of that so but both are equal and i think that is uh, around 35 36 grand it starts in canada canadian dollars and this one is quite uh, like you have to go beyond 40s if you're looking at buying in canada so this is my 51433.52 is the purchase price which is like rock bottom for this kind of an upgraded vehicle and i had also negotiated um, the deal I guess it was Brampton Chrysler to get this deal. Uh, I got three free services and oil changes with uh, oil filter changes for uh, with the vehicle purchase itself. So at least for a year and a half, I did not really spend any money on uh, on spare parts or anything uh, to do with oil changes as such. So um, and I do recommend using synthetic oil and oil filter. Of course, it it gives you better mileage. I've tried both initially. I I added uh, the standard oil, which was like. You can easily pull 6,000 to 8,000 kilometers a run, but if you are going the synthetic oil lube and filter, you can easily go 10,000, 12,000, doesn't matter. So it kind of uh, adds to your um, gas mileage. So I, I do recommend doing that. I hope you like this overall high level overview of my, well, let's say in depth review of my Jeep Wrangler uh, JL Unlimited. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.